I just want to thank you all so much for taking some time out of your busy lives and very busy timing schedule to come spend a couple of days with us. Um, I'm very grateful. Um, this is something that uh, Athletic Live, I, I started in the summer of 2015 and uh, kind of had no idea that anyone else would ever use it, let alone be talking with 20 uh, awesome timers uh, across the country. Um, so I'm just very grateful and thankful that, that you're here and excited to spend the next couple of days getting to meet you and getting to talk shop. Um, the format of this workshop, um, our thought process is we're going to do a couple short presentations just to kind of introduce the different apps and the different pieces that we have. Um, today will be uh, Athletic Live Local, which is kind of a central app to how everything works, uh, Athletic SB, our scoreboard software, and Athletic Field, our field results software. Uh, we'll do a brief presentation, kind of show how it works, do a little demo, and then everybody will head downstairs and give it a shot yourselves. Um, you know, we didn't want to bring you here and then talk to you in this conference room for eight hours. The whole point is to kind of chat for a little bit, give a brief overview, and then try it yourselves. And we've got 15 people here from Athletic Timing uh, to answer any questions that you might have. Um, and I know that everybody here is kind of at a different skill level. I mean, there's so many apps and so many things to think about. Um, some of you are experts at all of it. Some of you have uh, done a few things, and some of you are completely new, and that's totally okay. Um, we've got people here to help answer questions, to help you get started. Um, anything you can kind of think of, we can answer a question. If it's something we don't have, we can figure it out. Um, and in your packets, uh, you'll see a couple different things. There is a schedule for what we're doing over the next two days. And then there's a number of checklists uh, for kind of beginner, intermediate, and advanced tasks. So if you're new to something, maybe start on the beginner tasks. Uh, if you've used something a lot, check out the advanced tasks and see if there's something new for you to take a look at. Uh, and at the end of our short presentations, we'll also talk about the future of the different apps that we have, kind of some things that we're thinking about. Uh, and I have no doubt that we've got 20 people here that uh, time a lot. And I'm sure we'll come up with 100 or maybe even 1,000 ideas <laughs> over the next couple of days. And hopefully we can make a couple of those uh, ideas into reality. Um, we've, we've had a blast putting this workshop together. Um, and I hope that there's something, you can at least take something away from this that maybe we couldn't take away if we were just doing this over Zoom. Um, and you know, a chance to have a little fun uh, learning some things without a meet starting in 30 minutes. <laughs> um, once again, thank you very much, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Dan, and he's going to talk a little bit about athletic timing and uh, athletic life local. Thank you. Like Ben mentioned, very glad to have all of you here, and I'm Dan, and along with our timing crew, we moved into this building just less than a year ago, so as we were all mingling down there, down there that was pretty exciting. It's a vision that we've had for a long time, just to be able to, be able to um, have some more space for us previously to a year ago, we were in a 10 by 20 foot storage unit and six garages. So we've been able to now train our own crews, have a space for that, and just kind of be able to spread out a little bit. But also the vision was to be able to train and bring in other companies and just be able to show the software, the tech, and the tools and where we're going with things and uh, create a model that can be replicated within what we do as we add crews, but then also have those tools be something that you guys can say, hey, like we can take this, we can implement it in a, the same way or a similar way. And um, a big purpose of athletic timing is, sorry, we'll go to this, this other screen, is basically same thing you do. We want to deliver very professional, good looking results to our local clients. Same thing that you guys do on the ground in your states. But we have two other things that we really focus on a lot is we test and develop a lot of next generation level tools, where's the sport going, where can it go with the live results, with on-site presentation, and then how do we share that, engage, and train other people to use those same different things. And so as I share a slide a little bit later on, um, kind of the growth and how we've used these tools, that aspect of what is this, the purpose of our timing company, what are we doing, that is really to do something, see if it can be replicated, and then model it for other people to be able to use and do things in a similar way. So um, just wanted to call out the flash drives that are in your packets. 
those have everything dumped on them that you may need in, to like find, install on your laptops, uh, whether that's Athletic Live Local, that is Athletic Scoreboard. You can find everything online, and I'll show you that in just a bit on our support site. But if you don't use Athletic Live Local, that's what we're going to be talking about for about five, ten minutes here. Is kind of why do that versus um, there's many other options Ben has developed within Athletic Live to get your results up online. But um, we feel using Athletic Live Local kind of streamlined how we do things, and it makes your job a lot easier as timers. And when you're doing a Monday and a Tuesday and a Wednesday and a Thursday and all the way through Saturday meets, you want to be able to get out there, do it as quickly as possible and efficiently without having to think about too many um, steps, too many settings. So on that thumb drive is your Athletic Live Local download, but just wanted to point to everything we do here today and throughout um, all the additional tools on Athletic Live. The support site has a ton of articles. Um, Athletic SB is the scoreboard, Athletic Live timer support, Athletic Field. Clicking on any of those, using the search at the top, I would, if I was looking for local, I'd type in install. It's going to be like install local. It's going to be right up there, articles that then link to a whole bunch of different areas on how to use local, why to use it, and if you use high tech, meet pro, run meet any of those, and how that um, interacts with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and start Athletic Life Local. Down here in the, like, the middle of the bottom screen, it's an app that runs on your computer. Once it connects to the internet, it's started, and then I'm just going to minimize that and open up a browser and type in the word local, and that URL was also in that little app screen that popped up. So this is the first thing that we do at a meet once we have internet on our computers. We've booted up our cameras, then we're turning on local and we're going to select a meet. All the settings within Athletic Live Local have been locked in from when we first kicked it on in 2018, 2019 on the timing side and those settings stay there and it's really nice because we haven't changed it. If you were to look at my Finish Links scoreboard settings, it still says TMIO which prior to Athletic Live, in 2015, Ben mentioned he launched it, it was Track Me I.O. And so that's just not the kind of a testament to the fact that things have continued to work all throughout this time and you don't have to change it. I just go to the next meet and it's, it's ready and set to go. So different ways of using Athletic Live Local is getting your results on through high tech via FTP or database connection. The database connection will be the second thing we talk about after Athletic Live Local and there's one setting that you put into high tech and then it's going to be connected if you're using FTP. The database is even more streamlined just because then you don't do anything. You don't hit F11, you don't hit F12. It just, you seed everything and it's online. You put results in there and it's online. It's just talking to the database the whole time. So just many of you are, about half of us use Athletic Live Local in here. Looking at a, the survey that we sent out, the other half of us are using like the FTP where you're changing your uh, ports per meet. And so when you have Athletic Live Local, let's go back up to the high tech one, you would have one IP address and one password that you keep the whole time. You don't have to change it meet by meet. Um, Athletic Live Local works with Meet Pro. If you're pushing your results on from there as well on the cross country side, several different systems there. And these are those Finish Links ports that I was talking about. And if I open up Finish Links, we'll just launch that right here. All that all too familiar sound. <laughs> and look at the scoreboard options and all three of these. Maybe I can't scroll down on this mouse right here, but uh, TMIO, X XCIO, and the one below that would be TMIO runtime. And put in that port number and that IP address in 2018. And then this laptop has a config file that you copied to AT23 all the way down to all the crews that we have. Um, and as long as they're running Athletic Live Local, they can push out the live results and the scoreboards and everything from their meet and their races as well. So we definitely, even though it's like one of the options for using Athletic Live, we really push it as the one that can streamline the, the process that you have for each of your meet days. This is a cross country setting. And I'm not going into each one of these, but just kind of uh, piquing your interest if you see one during the breakout times when you're working on things and setting things up on your computer, if you haven't used a certain option and you see it on here, write that down on your notepad. Um, we won't have the, like, raising questions during this time because we want, you know, 15 minutes 
myself and then Ben will do another 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna get out there and play and we're gonna be able to uh, experiment a lot of stuff. So field links, connections right there, and then the race videos. The race videos in the field app will be a, a big thing that you guys get to experience and play with. But this was a setting, race videos was launched in 2021 and there's gonna be, if I had gone up to the very top of this page and chosen a meet, let's go ahead and do that. This is now I'm at a meet, and this is my meet I'm gonna be timing today. And once that loads, I can open up finish links, start an event, and the clock will be ticking on the live results. You can see it started the, the results script right at the top here, the running clock scripts, the full race videos, the athletic field, so it's talking to athletic field app. And then below that is the image export you've seen on um, quite a few different results. If you, kind of, if you ever go on Athletic Live and you look at some other timers that maybe are doing image export and they have those on all their live results, it's a button right here that they click, they click start, and then they're also done. It's, it's that simple. Once you have your settings in place, then you can export your Identalinks image on every single one of your results. It's not something that you have to set up every single time. You just click the start button and then you're rolling. And just another level to where you can en enhance results and serve your clients in the way that you might be interested in. But down here at the bottom now, the race videos, it has my meet ID in there and the password. So I can pull out my phone and I can take a video of you guys as the video is coming this way and that video would then go up on the live results. The next meet, if I selected something else in that drop down, the password would be the same. So as you train people how to use the app, they just need to know whatever password you do and then they could put in that meet ID. So you're just giving out like a number and pulling it up on their phone. Um, up in the sidebar over here, we got the athletic field app and scoreboard. I'm just gonna uh, hold off on those because we'll be doing a lot of things with the field app and the scoreboard but those are different ways where you can make local connections with your scoreboards as well as then we'll be talking about online connections. So ways to do, do things, you know, you, you want it hardwired in or if you want to just do it, pulling it down from the web. What, what does the video show? The, so, the ra so the race videos is every heat of the 60 meter dash and indoor, they're running, you got the results in there. A minute later, there's a video of that heat. It, it's popping in as the races are going. So you're on heat five and you got videos one, two, and three, heat one, two, and three, all in your live results. Um, and I will be showing an example of that in just a little bit as well. So over here, the other item, high tech database connection. Just wanted to show that on the exact same example on the support site. If you don't use the high tech database connection, you want to use it if you're using high tech. We use run meet for about 90% of our meets, 10% of the meets we still use high tech. And that may be the way it is for, you know, 10%, 5%, 2% as we continue to develop run meet. Um, but when you're using high tech, you want to use this. And so if you just type that into the support site, there's one thing that you install on your computer and you just go to microsoft.com and it's just being able to access the access database. So high tech uses a access database, Microsoft access on your computer. You install that, follow the steps and then when you activate your Meet in Athletic Live Local, it's just talking to that file right there on your computer. And you don't have to worry about, did I put the heat sheets up or I reseeded is the newest update. It's just, if your computer's on and local's going, then it's good to go. So jump back over here. And just wanted to uh, turn this slideshow back on and have two more slides. Going back to what I mentioned at the start is just the, the goal of athletic timing as we've grown started out in 2015 showing this graph. That was when I got my first Lynx camera. So it was timing since 2009, but I, you know, your Lynx camera kind of makes it official. <laughs> so 2015 was when that was in the, coincidentally that's when Ben also launched uh, TrackMe.io the end of 2015. Um, these first few years here, if I, go over to one of the screens. Uh, 16, we were um, just kind of experimenting with live results for the first time. And then in 17, saw what Ben was doing and asked, hey, we want to implement this. And so we started doing that. And that's kind of the model we've used on the timing side is like the 
when we go to trainings every year, like, okay, what's the new thing we're doing? Like, we don't want to stay stagnant. We're always trying to change it. And that's when I was a teacher as well, like every single year as a middle school math teacher, is, what are we doing differently? How can we, how can we change things? Um, and so in 17 started Athletic Live, then in 18 and 19 is where Athletic Live Local came out and um, Run Meet, the, brain, the, the foundation of it started in 18 and 19. And then the purpose of this graph really is, you can see the numbers are hidden as far as how many meets we tie, and it doesn't matter. The, the amplification of from the next two seasons after that and into 23 is being able to use Run Meet, use Athletic Live, and it made it so easy to bring in other timers and train them, and they can sit down, and Alan back here in the back, he's our, our lead trainer, and in one day, he can take them through how to see the meet, and generally with high tech, you, you don't maybe get a one day training in where you're learning high tech and fitness links and live results, but in one day, he'll just like, okay, here's in run meet, you click the start button, your meet's seated, and you can change a few things. Over here in fitness links, our test, you know, if you can use fitness links, basically it's like, okay, when we are interviewing people, we're like, do you know what a file browser is? If you know what a file browser is, we, you can navigate the computer and we'll train you how to use finish links. And then on the live results side of things, again, like you saw that button, click start local. And then we can, as people who have time maybe a little longer than a one year, a first year timer, we can jump in, support them if there's anything going on, but it's all connected. Like I can see it on my computer, I can see it on their computer. It's not tied down to just a database that's off at a meet all by itself. And then 21 was where live field events came out with Athletic Live, and that was the big jump there. Live field events 2022 is where we started doing race videos at over 200 meets and creating that demand for, hey, we want this at this meet, you did it over here. Um, and so kind of the, the model there, 2023, 20, continues to grow, and it's just people see that you're doing live field events, you're doing race videos, and we want that there. And so the goal here is that you need to take something away from scoreboards, live field events, whatever it is, and be able to Im implement it on your end as well. Uh, we'll close this and just share that. Phil, you asked the question on the race videos. So the last example here was uh, Meet the Champions. I get, a, I get a direct one meet a year as a co-meet director. And as a middle school math teacher, I started a tiny little middle school meet, and then, then it grew. Um, <laughs> so it's basically the state meet for middle school in Oregon. And I've timed it for nine years. This was the 10th year. And the really awesome thing that I felt them being able to use Athletic Live's tools, all the ANET tools, was the fact that the timers this year, I was able to step away. It was a first year timer with another first year timer that did this meet. And this is the type of thing that five years ago would have kind of blown my mind that this is their very first year timing and they're pulling off all this with, they have four scoreboards out there. They have live results, they have splits of everything. You click on an athlete, you got the video, you have their finish line images. This athlete also did the long jump. They have the videos of all their long jump. And these, these two timers, they're just, they show up, they set up like you would at any normal middle school league meet. They show up, set up the same way here. They train the volunteers how to use the field app. And the video, let's go to the field event side. Discus, you can see 118 videos. Every athlete has an attempt and just that was just like a really proud moment and just like the way our team works on the timing side is like you could come out here and you could chat with someone who's been timing for one year and they're going to be able to show you different things you can ask them questions and um, it's that's just an awesome thing in my mind on how the, the system works and how you can kind of levitate it for your own business um, yeah. elevate it on, on the field event videos do you normally put your like your tablet on a tripod or do you just have them handheld hold it both and we'll, when we do the field the field stuff this afternoon yeah we'll, we'll show the examples of that um, and then just the display boards here this is really the only one we can see the display boards there's two display boards here and then two more down the field and they're just they have one one screen where they're just toggling back Hey, long jump's live, and they show long jump. The, the discus is now live, and they just click a button, and the discus is on the display boards. And so Ben's going to come up here. He's going to talk about display boards, and just the, the ease of deployment on those is the thing that makes it, like, you can take someone who's done it for one year, just timing, and they can also 
do the additional things because it's not like you have to train them on a whole bunch of extra steps.